people are so easily distracted. So I'm the distractor with a little story. People can't get enough of them. Because, well, they connect the stories to themselves, I suppose. And we all love hearing about ourselves. So long as the people in the stories are us. But not us. This will tell the tale. I'm Buster. Buster Scruggs. You're shooting iron work. Appears to do, yes. Do you have anything to say before a sentence is carried out? Sentence? What's my sentence? <laughs> Have a way of escalating out here in the West. My name is Ozzy Mandias, King of Kings. That man is a wonder. Oh, we'll just have to see you on Ah, crazy business. His children didn't know how their father made his living or why they so often moved. They didn't even know their father's name. He regretted neither his robberies nor the 17 murders that he laid claim to. And on September 5th, 1881, Jesse James was 34 years old. I can't believe I'm sitting with none other than Jesse James. Many's the night I stayed up, my eyes open, my mouth open, just reading about your escapades. They're all lies, you know. It is interesting the many ways you and I overlap. You're the youngest of three James boys, and I'm the youngest of five Ford boys. You have blue eyes, I have blue eyes. You're five feet eight inches tall, I'm five feet eight inches tall. I honestly believe I'm destined for great things, Mr. James. You're giving me signs that make me wonder. Maybe your mind's been changed about me. Can't figure it out. You wanna be like me, or you wanna be me? You think it's all made up, don't you? You think it's all yarns and, and newspaper stories. He's just a human being. Look at my red hands and my mean face. I wonder about that man that's gone so wrong. I've been a nobody all my life. I know I won't get with this one opportunity, and you can bet your life I'm not going to spoil it. Seems to me, if you have something to confess, you spit it out now. Let me ask you something. What's the most you ever lost in a coin toss? Look, I need to know what I stand to win. Everything. Just call it Friendo. Willin, what's in the satchel? It's a bowl of money. He's just a guy who happened to find that money. I got a bad feeling, Llewellyn. Well, it's a mess, ain't it, Sheriff? If it ain't, it'll do till the mess gets here. I'm looking for Llewellyn Moss. You go up to his trailer? Yes. Do you want to leave a message? Yes. I don't come back and tell mother I love her. Your mother's dead. Well, then I'll tell her myself. I've got a loose cannon here. You think this boy Moss? Got any notion of the sorts that are hunting him? I don't know, he ought to. He's seen the same things I've seen, and it certainly made an impression on me. Just how dangerous is he? Compared to what? The bubonic plague? 
crime you see now, it's hard to even take its measure. It's just all out war. You can't stop what's coming. Is this guy supposed to be the ultimate badass? You don't understand. In your four years as U.S. Marshal, how many men have you shot? Shot or killed? Let us restrict it to killed so that we may have a manageable figure. Mr. Cogburn? What do you want, girl? I'm looking for the man who killed my father. The man's name is Tom Cheney, and I need somebody to go after him. What's your name? My name is Maddie Ross. Are you some kind of law? I'm a Texas Ranger. I know Cheney. It is at least a two-man job taking him alive. Marshal Cogburn? Can we depart this afternoon? We? I'm going with you. Congratulations. You've graduated from Marauder to Wet Nurse. He's being followed. What do we do, Marshal? You missed your shot, Cogburn. Just let this go. I thought you were going to say the sun was in your eyes. That is to say, your eye. You got a lot of experience with bounty hunters, do you? That is a silly question. I am 14. You can run on for a long time. Time for you to go home. I don't like you. I will not go back, not without Cheney, dead or alive. Sooner or gotta cut you down. Cheney, you here! Help me, Marshal! Now what, Cogburn? Them boys don't think about the wrath that's about to set down on it. Jack and his gang are a rough lot. I do not regret shooting your father. I will kill this girl! Biggest mistake you ever made. The good. The bad. The ugly. The blue. The gray. The Civil War. The showdown. The reason. The goal.
dead after what they've done? Get out of here! It was a matter of honor. They're paying a thousand dollars to whatever kills the two boys that cut up Delilah. In a time when lawmen were killers. What are y'all looking at? You English Bob. Outlaws were heroes. Well, I thought that you were dead. Hell, I even thought I was dead. Till I found out it was just in Nebraska. And a bad reputation. You're the one who killed William Harvey and robbed that train over Missouri. Was as good as gold. My guess is you're calling yourself Mr. William Money. Say what? You don't look no meaner than hell, cold-blooded damn killer. I ain't like that anymore, kid. Thousand dollars reward, Will. Nobody's gonna come. So you still have that Spencer rifle, huh? Yeah. This is my partner. He don't go, I don't go. What's it come to three ways? Just because we're going on this killing, that don't mean I'm going to go back to being the way I was. Are you really going to kill them, cowboy? I do not like assassins. Or men of low character. We ain't bad men no more. We're farmers. There are a lot of savages! A bunch of bloody savages! Assassin! Oh, I guess they have it coming. We all have it coming, Captain. Some legends will never be forgotten. Some wrongs can never be forgiven. The man don't want to get killed. Better clear on out the back. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for daily excitement. See you in the next video.